Are you wondering what the difference is between Jessie Curls Confident Coils and Rockin' Ringlets Styling Products? In this video, I'm doing a side-by-side -side comparison where I test out these products, one on each side, along with the Spiralicious Gel, and I share with you the pros and cons for each one and show you how I use them and the results that I got. This video will help you decide which of these two products would work best for your hair. Hi, welcome to my channel. I'm Delilah from The Holistic Enchilada and on my channel I share tips, tricks, and resources to help you embrace your curls and keep things simple. Please subscribe for more videos on simple curly hair care and head over to the blog holisticenchilada.com where I've got lots more free content. So I just washed my hair and I'm ready to start styling. I'm going to do one half with rock and ringlets and the other half with confident coils. And then I'm going to talk about each product as I'm styling with it so I can give you like the pros and cons and differences between them. Now this side of my hair is a little bit thinner, I've got less hair, so I'm gonna go with the lighter product on this side, which is Confident Coils. And this side's a little thicker, so I'm gonna go with Rock and Ringlets on that side. So I'm just gonna make sure that it is wet enough before I start applying the product. All right, so let's start off with Rock and Ringlets. This is formulated specifically for medium to thick, coarse, curly hair. So it is not for my hair type, but I do want to try it out just so that I can compare the two and give you the information. Hopefully it helps you make a choice when buying the product. So I'm gonna use a very, very small amount. I know with their products, they're all very concentrated. All right, so it's actually a little more than I wanted to get out, but we'll go with it. Hopefully you can see it's very runny. It's kind of, it's a little thick, I guess, even though it's runny, but it's got some slip. It's going through very easily throughout my hair. Um, it's one of those products that you can't really tell there's anything in your hair. So it can be tricky to get the right amount in. I'm just gonna start off with a little bit because I already know my hair and my hair doesn't like a lot of product. So Rockin' Ringlets is a curl enhancer. So it is generally not a product that you would use as a single styler. I'm going to put some Spiralicious gel over this, but this would be like a product that you would layer if you were using a leave-in conditioner or a curl cream, you'd put that first, then you would do the curl enhancer, which in this case is Rockin' Ringlet, Rockin Ringlets, and then your hold product, which should be like a gel, a mousse, something that has some hold in it. So Rockin' Ringlets specifically is a light to medium hold. It probably depends on how much you use. Controls frizz, helps to keep hair soft. One key thing that I do wanna note is that it does have glycerin as the either second or third ingredient. Let me check here one it is the second ingredient so that's good to know because it's not going to work well unless you layer something with anti-humectants and emollients over it but as like a final styler if you are somewhere humid or very dry then this could cause problems in your routine but if you layer something on top of it that has anti-humectants hold ingredients things that help block out the humidity then it doesn't really matter so if you're gonna be layering products and you're using a really good gel for humidity, then it's fine. So you would use it as a curl enhancer, which just means it helps your hair have a little bit more spring, a little bit less frizz, some more definition and softness. The, set, the first ingredient is flaxseed, wow, flaxseed extract, which is a natural curl enhancer. And then it also has jojoba oil, aloe vera, that's a humectant as well, but it's a film forming humectant, so not a, really a big deal. And then it's got some other ingredients lower on the list, but those are like the top ones. So what's doing the curl enhancing is really the flaxseed that's in there. And that's what's providing the hold along with the aloe vera. So that's why it's a very light hold. We don't have any synthetic ingredients in this that are providing any hold. So again, not something that I would recommend you use on its own. Definitely layer something over it. All right, let's move on to the other side. On this side, I'm going to do Confident Coils. And like I said before, Confident Coils is formulated for my hair type. It is for fine to medium hair types, but pretty much anybody can use it. You would just probably need a little bit more. So wavy, curly, coily, fine to medium, those are all fine. It is 
mostly or it is less curl enhancing than rock and ringlets but it does have some curl enhancement in it it's a medium hold styler it's creamier than rock and ringlets according to their website they say you should pair it with either gelibration or rock and ringlets so that's going to give you the hold that you would probably prefer than if you just used it alone and this one does not have glycerin in it so this is great for all climate so this would be a good solution for anybody who struggles with uh, the humidity and wants something with a little bit more hold and curl enhancement so you can tell already it's creamy comes out it's like this nice white creamy texture again using a very small amount and this would actually take the place of your leave-in conditioner or curl cream so you wouldn't need it unless your hair is particularly dry and you want to layer both. You definitely don't need to. So this could work maybe as a single styler if you prefer a lighter hold, but most people don't like a lighter hold. So I would recommend you layer something over it. If you're going to use it as a single styler, definitely use a little bit more product than I did, but I'm going to layer gel over it. So I don't want to use too much on my hair. So according to the product listing, this is some curl enhancement. They recommend you pair it with gelibration or rock and ringlets. I think I said that already. Glycerin and protein free, creamy medium hold styler for all climates. So in the ingredients list, you will notice the second and third ingredients are hold ingredients. So we have PVP VA copolymer and another polymer, polyamide one. And these provide the hold in the product, which is why this one has a medium hold compared to the rock and ringlets that doesn't have any synthetic polymers in it. It also has jojoba and aloe in it lower on in the ingredients list it's got a couple other emollients so that's where the moisture is coming from and then just the bottom ingredients you know the things preservatives and stuff like that so again all their products come in unscented fragrance free so that's really good for people who struggle with finding products that are less fragranced so i'm going to layer the spiralicious on top not gonna use a lot since I already have some product in my hair. I don't want to mix my hair up, so I'm gonna still do like half and half. Spiralicious is kind of like a creamy gel. I have a video where I used it on my channel already on its own where I talk more specifically about Spiralicious, so you can check that out. What I love about it is how you can emulsify it with some water in your hands, warm it up, and it creates so much more product really easy to distribute nice creamy texture works through the hair very very easily decent slip it doesn't give me any flash drying and amazing hold especially for humidity make sure i grab the right thing so i'm going to do the same thing on the other side I think it's a little too much. I'm gonna take some of that out. And just put it on my arm over here. I want to use it. It's a better amount for my hair. I'm just adding a little bit of water to make sure since my hair is like dried out a little bit. I just want to make sure that I can work it through evenly. So I am curious to see if using these products makes it so that my hair takes a little bit longer to dry. So I'm gonna diffuse my hair and come back and show you what the results look like. Okay, just finished diffusing and here are the initial results. Now, it looks pretty similar. I can see just slightly more definition on this side. It also looks a little stringier and that's gonna be because it's more moisturizing, a little heavier, the product that I use on this side. This side feels a little bit lighter. I mean, you could even see the length this side's like a little higher. So you can see it's a little bouncier. It's, it feels very light, like very, very light. Whereas here, it feels a little heavier. This side took longer to dry. The under part here, it's still a little bit damp. This side's completely dry already. So it did make a little bit of a difference in my drying time, but not much. But like I said, it looks pretty similar. I'm happy with it, but I can already tell this side, I'm not gonna be super happy with tomorrow, but We'll see. I'm going to come back tomorrow towards the end of the day because I do have an event for the first half of the day. I'm going to be out of the house. So it's going to be a really good test to see how my hair holds up in those conditions. But I will come back and show you what it looks like after a full day. So here are the next day results. It's the end of the day. I was gone for 
most of the day outside and you can see how it is held up they look pretty similar when you start to really take a closer look is when you notice slight differences so on this side i am finding less frizz and it's still got like the nice little curl clumps it feels a little bit more lighter like i can feel it's less flat i guess near the scalp in the root area the bottom part looks pretty similar but this side got a little bit frizzy like outside and that's probably because the ingredients remember the rock and ringlets is not formulated to work very well in humidity and then it's kind of because it's a little heavier like the clumps are really holding together my hair is kind of grouping itself into large clumps which makes it look like less hair overall and just flatter even though it does help with definition I just don't like it for my hair because I prefer a fuller look since I don't have as much hair I want it to look a little bigger than it is so volume wise I mean it looks about the same and it feels pretty similar it actually doesn't feel yucky to me they both feel the same but I can tell this is a little bit heavier and I know that over time my hair of like if I continue to use rock and ringlets on a regular basis over time my hair would start to show signs that it was too moisturized so that's something I can tell already. They they tend to start to get droopy and a little dull. So that's probably what would happen if I continued using this. And then the fact that it doesn't it has glycerin as a second ingredient, it's very frizzy here in the front. These pieces here. So confident coils is a better choice for me that may or may not be the case for you but i do like how it performs on my hair over time i've used both rock and ringlets and confident coils a couple of times now it's been pretty much the same results every time that i've used them. this is the first time that i do like half and half split but i just wanted you to see the difference so you can tell what the main difference is between the two of them they're very similar they work very similar one's more curl enhancing the other one has more hold but in the end, I think it depends on your texture and your environment is what's gonna dictate which one of these you decide to use. And again, pair them with something, like I put the Spiralicious Gel over them and that works really well, as long as you're, you're not using too much product. Now, I have a couple more products left to test from Jesse Curl. I've got the Touche Extra Moisturizing Conditioner, the Deep Conditioning Treatment, the Cleansing Cream, which is like a co-wash, the Scalp Oil, and then the oil blend. I guess one's for scalp, one's not for scalp. So I will probably give all of these a try and do one video where I kind of go over all of the products, a uh, general overview, and I'll write like a blog post with a little bit more detail about each product so I can help you decide whether or not you want to try certain products. But as I mentioned earlier in the video, they offer these samples for free. So I encourage you to give that a try so you can try a bunch of different products and see which one works best for your hair i think the amounts are generous enough for you to use them a couple of times and figure out what your hair likes so that's it for this video thank you so much for watching if you're interested in other curly hair products you can check out my product reviews playlist the links to all the products that i talked to are in the description of this video as well and i hope that you enjoyed this please like and subscribe and i will see you in the next video